Hi everyone, my name is Helen. Welcome to the Shrimpy McGee channel. Before I forget, if you could just like and subscribe to this video so that I know you like it and you want more of this kind of content, that would mean so very much to me. But without any further ado, let's get right into what I wanted to talk about, which is about applying Rogaine or Minoxidil to curly hair. Now, as you can see, I don't have very curly hair. I have sort of a 2A, 2B wave. And so those of you who do have curly hair and use the curly girl method, or you just know your hair type really well, probably know along the spectrum of different hair types, this is a kind of a loose, a very loose wave, one of the loosest waves you can have. You can probably see here, there are little bits that are kind of straight looking. Um, and yeah, that's my hair, but rest assured, I've done lots of experimenting uh, with wearing my hair in the curly girl or wavy girl method in my case. And so I've got lots of great tips for you. If you just stay tuned, I will get to those. But first of all, I wanted to talk about why I made this video. I have just finished watching on YouTube the most watched how to put Rogaine in curly hair video. I am not going to link to it because I cannot believe this, but in this video, they don't ever apply the product. It's just somebody talking about like, you can use Rogaine and then um, someone gets their hairstyle in a curly hairstyle that's not really curly girl approved and that's fine but I just kind of didn't see what the point is and this video has 1.5 million views. So 1.5 million people went to watch this video and there's no demonstration of putting the product into actual curly hair. How frustrating is that? And then I looked and the algorithm was just serving me some other Rogaine videos, including my own. I actually have a ton of Rogaine videos about how to apply it. Although the one that I made way back when was not specific to the cur to curly hair or the curly girl hair method. Um, I thought, oh my gosh, that's really missing. That's really bad. And so then I decided to do some more internet research and and there's not much there either. A lot of people are like, I don't have much luck with that. So um, I have had luck with it. And so I'm just gonna show you how to actually apply it and then talk just a bit about what makes you know, applying it to curly hair different than the other instructions that we're getting and uh, just some other tips that might help you. So stay tuned to the very end so that you make sure you get all those tips as well. You know, my own Rogaine journey is very well documented on this channel. So go and have a look at some of my older playlists. Uh, and I don't, full confession, I don't usually wear my hair curly. I did experiment mostly over the summer with the curly girl method and I like it for the summer. I'm just finding in the winter, I kind of prefer a different kind of style that's not so curly and because I like to blow dry my hair because I almost always need to head out the door. I can't go out with that sort of wetter curly girl method hair. I know people use diffusers and stuff like that, but I just don't have the time right now. And also I just like the look of a sort of sleeker style for the winter. Um, but definitely in the summer, I think I'm gonna be going back to the curly girl method because I feel like in where I live, we have these really harsh winters. And when I say it's winter, I don't mean like it's around zero. I mean like my hair will freeze solid if I go outside and my hair is exposed to the elements. Yeah, I'm Canadian, welcome to Canada. That's what we deal with here in Toronto. Uh, okay, so without any further ado, I think that's the second time I've said that. I'm just gonna show you and talk a bit about, you know, curly hair. So let's talk about, okay, so my hair's wavy, but what makes curly hair different than the instructions that they're giving you for like regular, straighter hair, regular, regular Rogaine instructions is what I'm trying to say, like what's in the booklet. What they tell you to do there is to give yourself to comb out a really defined part line. And if you're following the curly girl method or just you have curly hair and you don't brush your hair after it's dry, that's, these instructions don't make any sense to you. And so, because you're not gonna be combing out your hair because that's gonna ruin your curls, right? Your curl pattern. Um, and the other thing that's kind of different about curly hair is you might not have that defined hairline, but you will have scalp visible. And so that's a problem. And one of the sticking points, I think for a lot of women with curly and guys, these tips apply to guys just as much as they do to, um, ladies, you have scalp, like wherever you have a curl clump, you can have some scalp showing and that you can have more scalp in some areas than others. Um, and so we're going to work with that. I'm just going to talk to you and show you with some actual product, how to put it in. And so, yeah, that is, that is a concern that makes, uh, what makes it a little bit different from the sort of generic instructions that they give you in both Rogaine and generic minoxidil, um, packaging. They show you instructions. We're going to do it a little different. If you've seen my older videos, you'll know that I put in the, the Rogaine foam a little differently than they tell you to. They tell you to put a little bit on a plate and drop it into your hairline. You know, my hairline's fairly well um, defined here, but let's just say it wasn't. I'm just gonna show you what I do. 
If you're using foam, this is how I do it. And if you're gonna be using the liquid, stay tuned. I'm gonna to get to that and just, I'm gonna show you both. Um, so as you know, I always invert, I put my, th I, That's Siri. She just heard me and decided to answer me. Be quiet, Siri. Um, <laughs> I think I saw Tati's video and this happened on her video too. Isn't that funny? Okay, so here we go. So I flip it like this. I put my thumb here on the, um, the applicator button. And so what I would do in this case is I would just put it in where I'm seeing scalp, okay? So here for me, it would be here. So I'm gonna rub that in. Let's say that I had a clump here and that I could really see the scalp visible here. I would just go put in a tiny little bit there. And so that's how you do it. And so what I do at this point is I wait for my hair to be, my hair is mostly dry, it looks wet, but those of you who are doing the curly girl way know that it will look wet because of the product. So it's actually pretty dry and I'm just about to um, scrunch, scrunch, the, scrunch out the crunch. And so that's the point I put it in. You don't want to do it when your hair is still wet. So you wait for it to be mostly dry until you're going to scrunch it. That's the point. So that might mean taking this with you. The good thing about foam is it travels very, very easily. So you can put it in your purse if you need to be doing this at lunchtime because your hair is not dry until then. Uh, and so, yeah, you're going to look for the scalp areas that you want to fill it in. Uh, and then you're just gonna put little tiny bits in there and that's how you're gonna do it You don't need to go here But if that's where you have the most thinning then by all means you're just gonna put it here And the key is with the curly girl method is that you just don't want to disturb the curls too much, right? You can't really get in there with your fingers and zhuzh it all up because that's gonna bust all your curls And that's not what we're doing But you're just gonna place that foam on there and press it in press press with your fingertips I have not seen anybody do this on YouTube yet, there probably are videos, I just haven't found them, but yeah, you just have to just use the pads of your fingers just like they teach you when you're cleaning, not to scratch with your fingernails. You just go in there and you press it into the areas. I'm just gonna switch over to liquid now and show you how that might work out. Um, I'm using a generic liquid that I got at Target for a great price, and so uh, I don't normally use both though, I'm just showing you. One day I'll use foam and then the next day I'll switch to the liquid. It's just a way of, um, saving a bit of money to be honest and also it just seems to be working well for me and so the great thing about having this tip is you can really apply it where you need to and so I'm lucky that I don't have too many um, sort of bald spots or hair loss spots because the Rogaine's done such a good job for me but this is what I would do I know I have one back here so really the only difference is not so much finger movement right if you watch how I've done it elsewhere, you've seen that I really kind of get in there with my fingertips when I'm not wearing my hair curly, the curly way. But that's really the only difference, people. Like, don't be intimidated by putting it right into the spots that you needed and then just working it in gently with your fingertips because you don't want to bust those curl clumps, right? We're all about saving those curl clumps when we're doing our hair the curly way or the curly girl method or some hybrid of both where you kind of let it air dry or even if you're going to diffuse it because if you do too much you're going to get lots of frizz it's going to look terrible so i'm going to break now i'm going to wash my hands i'm going to scrunch the crunch and uh scrunch out the scrunch scrunch out the crunch i can't remember what anyhow i'll be back in a minute Okay, I'm back and I've scrunched the crunch as best as I could and I'm not having the waviest hair day, so I do apologize for those of you who are looking for some someone with kind of much tighter curls. But you know what, we all have scalp and Rogaine really and Minoxidil is really about your scalp, not really about the actual hair that's coming um, you know, down off your head. It's really about the scalp and so we all have a scalp. And so hopefully these tips will be helpful in showing you how to put it on your scalp and put it on those areas with less hair. And so now I just wanted to talk about some of the questions that I saw popping up that nobody was able to answer. I mean, maybe they're answered somewhere, but I was sort of like looking around some of the curly girl forums and I just noticed this question that kept popping up, which is, if you don't shampoo, can you still use Rogaine? Because, you know, if you're following the method, or even if you're not, maybe you don't use a lot of shampoo, maybe you don't, your hair's very dry, and so you're not shampooing that frequently anyway. And just speaking from my own experience and from what logic tells me, yes, I mean, there is no, yes, you can use it. You can use it if you don't use shampoo. You can use it when your hair is not freshly washed. I think that um, maybe some of the instructions for Rogaine or Minoxidil can make it seem like you need to have freshly washed hair to be able to use it. And certainly in my experience and in the experience of so many women that I hear from, you definitely can use it on not freshly washed hair. You know, you just need to make sure your scalp is dry. Now, if you even look a little deeper into the literature, it says that um, it still could whip 
like Rogaine and Minoxidil still can work on damp hair, they just never tested it. So the clinical trials were not on damp hair or wet scalps, it was on dry scalps. But it just makes sense, right? If your skin is dry, it's gonna absorb things much better. Like if you've ever had dry skin and you put the cream on, it goes in right away, but if your hand is wet and you put the cream on your hand, it kind of sort of stays on the top, it just doesn't penetrate quite as quickly. I would imagine same idea with these formulations, they're meant to penetrate the skin. So um, yeah, I hope that that helps. Here's my sort of wavy hair for the day. I have some sort of bits that I, they're quite, they're not that wavy. What I do with those is I kind of, um, I, I use a curling iron sometimes to bump up the waviness. I know I'm not supposed to do that unless I'm using heat tools, but I don't do it too often, I promise. Um, I hope that that helps. If you have any questions about how to put Rogaine in um, curly hair, by all means, drop it for me below. I'm happy to try and help. If I don't have an answer myself, um, I'll get one for you. I'll try and find one for you. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate all your likes and your follows and your kind comments so much. I am so grateful for my audience here on YouTube. I love hearing from you guys. So please, if you have a moment, drop me a comment. I'd like to know if it's working for you, if you have curly hair, do you still follow the curly girl method? There's just so much for us to talk about here. And um, I'm all, you always find me in the comments. So if you write to me, I will reply. Okay, bye.